Since the dawn of time, a peculiar and mysterious aquatic race has resided within the enchanting realm of Azeroth. Prepare yourself to dive into the hidden lore of this captivating species known as the Murlocs. These amphibious beings are a sight to behold, with their bulbous bodies, slimy skin, and menacing rows of sharp fangs lining their large mouths. Although seemingly primitive creatures, they share a remarkable resemblance to both fish and frogs. Their innate features such as scales, distinctive toes and fingers that function as exceptional fins, along with gills, all work in tandem, enabling them to thrive underwater for extended durations. Just like the iconic green murloc mirrors the legendary red-eyed tree frog, each of these organisms embodies a unique blend of aquatic and amphibious traits. Murlocs tend to gather in densely populated camps and villages along the shorelines, forming tightly knit tribes. Some of these tribes are known to pay reverence to enigmatic sea deities, including the Naga, deepening the mysteries surrounding their beliefs and rituals. Scattered without a discernible pattern, these villages emerge along the water's edge, standing on stilts to protect them from the tides that shape their existence. As we observe these intriguing creatures more closely, other notable characteristics emerge. Murlocs exhibit a range of captivating colors, spanning from enchanting turquoise to deep, perplexing indigo. Their stature typically falls between three to six feet, and they traverse the world with a distinctive hunched posture. The endearing offspring of murlocs are affectionately known as tadpoles. These infants possess other distinguishable features, most notably their prominent eyes, which appear larger in proportion to their tiny bodies. A vivid green hue graces their appearance, gradually deepening as they mature. In their tender and helpless state, the baby murlocs find comfort being lovingly carried on the backs of their adult counterparts, sheltered under their protective care. Young murlocs display a distinctive large buck tooth and a small tail, a feature that adult murlocs lose over time. This intriguing transformation has sparked speculations about the murloc larvae's aquatic origins, but as they grow, they seem to shed their water-adapted traits, becoming more adept at thriving on land. Nonetheless, their affinity with the water never wavers. During their innocent youth, they engage in delightful, high-pitched babbling and gurgling, producing a charming sing-song symphony that warms the hearts of those around them. As they grow older, their communication methods also mature, becoming a dance of scents orchestrated by tiny glands that emit a unique and somewhat foul-smelling pheromone, further enhancing their unique and concealed nature. However, when it comes to interactions with other races, Murlocs display a distinct lack of tolerance, remaining wary and cautious of most other sentient beings in their aquatic domain. As our journey unfolds, the riveting history, intricate culture, and the boundless lore of the Murlocs in the world of Azeroth beckon us to explore further, unveiling the mysteries that ripple beneath the surface of this captivating race. The secrets of the Murlocs' past are veiled in enigma as their history is passed down through ancient oral traditions, presenting a challenging riddle for curious minds to unravel. Within the world of Azeroth, a growing belief emerges that the Murlocs are not newcomers to the Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor, but rather an ancient race with a hidden past. Their presence, though seemingly recent, hints at a history buried deep within the realm's untold ages. In the annals of the past, the Murloc's existence stretches back to a time long before trolls trod upon the land. They are a very early species, evolved to thrive in Azeroth's perilous aquatic domains. Legends and clues point to their ancestors dwelling in the abyssal depths of the oceans, veiled from the knowledge of the early land-dwelling civilizations. Bran Bronzebeard's studies hint at a Murloc lineage, possibly descending from the Gorlocks, who in turn are believed to have sprung forth from a lost and unknown ancient guardian frog. The threads of their ancestry weave a tapestry of antiquity, connecting them to the primordial ages of Azeroth's past. 
Throughout the ages, these mysterious beings were once perceived as masters of only rudimentary magic. However, as time passed, the Murlocs' true potential began to unveil. They showed their proficiency in harnessing the potent powers of earth and water, delving into the realms of elemental spells. With each passing day, their presence on land grew, their numbers multiplying in a mesmerizing fashion. Their magical prowess and burgeoning population hints at a force to be reckoned with in the ever-changing world of Azeroth. Various clues, stemming from the Murlocs themselves, suggest the possibility that these fish-like beings may indeed serve as worshippers or subordinates to a selection of deep-sea monstrosities, possibly dormant or lurking within the murky fathoms. In certain instances, Murlocs have been observed worshipping the water and the powerful entities within it, with some cases even involving the veneration of the serpentine Naga. Notably, the Rockpool tribe residing in the Blasted Lands is known for their devotion to Neptulon the Tidehunter, whom they revere as a god. As we have explored the religion and magic of the Murloc, we begin to unravel their intelligence. Like the veiled secrets of a legendary tale, the true depths of Murloc intellect remain cloaked in mystery. King Murgle Murgle, a representative of the Druids for the Ethical and Humane Treatment of Animals Association, discovered that the Winterfin tribe of Murlocs in the Borean Tundra are surprisingly intelligent, rivaling the more civilized races of Azeroth. While some regard them as simple creatures, attributing their guttural and indecipherable language to a lack of intelligence, others harbor suspicions of a more crafty mind at work. According to the renowned dwarven explorer Bran Bronzebeard, the Murlocs possess a level of intelligence beyond what other races may presume. They are clever enough to keep their secrets shrouded in mystery, revealing only what they deem necessary. Their remarkable mastery of weaponry and peculiar fighting abilities hint at a race with a cunning intellect, concealing their true brilliance behind their enigmatic facade. For many, the unmistakable sound of the Murloc language is the first thing that springs to mind when the word Murloc is mentioned. The language is known as Nurglish, which is also shared by the Makrura, a race of humanoid crustaceans. This language remains largely incomprehensible to other races. Interestingly, it is the Makrura who in a time long past developed Nurglish. Nurglish is a unique and intricate form of communication characterized by guttural croaks, gurgles, and clicks that combine to create a rhythmic and somewhat melodic pattern. Their communication heavily relies on vocal inflections and body language to convey messages, incorporating a range of high-pitched squeals, low growls, and abrupt pauses to express their intentions and emotions. Although the Murloc's language may seem incomprehensible to outsiders, their community has developed a complex system of vocalizations that enables them to understand each other with remarkable precision. To an untrained ear, it may sound like an indecipherable cacophony, but to the Murlocs themselves, it is a rich and nuanced means of communication that binds their society together. With their story entwined with the mysteries of Azeroth's seas and land, the Murlocs remain a seldom studied race inviting further exploration and discovery into the secrets that lie within their aquatic world. Murlocs have found their home along the coastlines, lakeshores and riverbeds of Azeroth, and their presence can even be observed in subterranean caverns and dungeons. Initially confined to the shores of the expansive seas encircling the continents, these creatures embarked on a courageous expedition, venturing inland. As the tides of time flowed steadily, this journey led them to explore new frontiers beyond their coastal boundaries. They embraced the freshwater lakes and rivers, adapting to this new land they ventured upon. Their coastal settlements are thriving, always bustling with activity, as they live in harmony with their kin, united in their ways and purpose. Elusive and cunning, they lurk beneath the waters, ready to ambush any unwary traveler who dares venture too close. Their social nature draws them together, and their notable tendency to draw attention from afar often leads to epic confrontations, making them both a challenge and a cautionary tale for brave adventurers. In the currents of recent times, 
the Murlocs have extended their dominion across numerous areas in both the Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. On the expansive continent of Kalimdor, the fish-like beings are often sighted dwelling around serene inland lakes and the eastern shores, their habitats seamlessly merging with the tranquil beauty of nature. Yet, a few daring tribes venture forth to prowl the sprawling beaches that stretch between Teldrassil and Darkshore, where the rhythm of the waves meets the melody of the forest. More notably present in the sprawling expanse of the Eastern Kingdoms, the Murlocs unleash their terror upon almost every coastal shore and serene inland body of water they can find. Their presence is a constant reminder of the concealed depths that lie beneath the surface of the waters. As we delve further into the intriguing history of the Murlocs, we begin to uncover the diverse array of variants and descendants that have evolved from this remarkable race. These branches of Murloc lineage unveil captivating stories, each one contributing to the rich mosaic of Azeroth's lore. Among the frigid lands of the Howling Fjord resides a collection of eerie beings known as the Murgul. These are no ordinary Murlocs, for they are cursed undead, bound to the western Chilmere coast, haunting the realm as walking dead. This grim transformation was inflicted upon the once vibrant Chilmere Murlocs by the dark necrolords of the Scourge, twisted minions of evil under the command of the Lich King. Yet, a tribe of Murgul in Ghostlands, related to the grimscale Murlocs of Eversong Woods, exhibit an unexpected trait. They retain their free will even in their cursed state of undeath, it remains unclear whether this resilient autonomy arises from their innate resistance to the Lich King's malevolent will, or if, akin to the defiant Forsaken, they manage to break free from the clutches of the remorseless Scourge. From the cursed shores of the Ghostlands, we turn our gaze to the fathomless depths of the ocean, where darkness reigns supreme. Here dwells a curious species known as the Deep Sea Murlocs, these spectacular beings bear a striking resemblance to the ominous anglerfish, adorned with sharp fangs and captivating bioluminescent growths that gracefully extend from their foreheads. They call the abyssal realms of Vashir and the throne of the tides their home. The deep sea murlocs are true predators of the underwater domain. Their long, razor sharp fangs serve as deadly tools to seize unsuspecting prey while their alluring phosphorescent antennae bewitchingly lure fish out from the hidden reeds. Among them, larger individuals take on the role of skilled hunters, prowling amidst the kelp forests in pursuit of their Piscine targets. Within their society, smaller deep-sea murlocs are known to wield the power of arcane magic, casting spells that remain veiled in the murkiness of the ocean depths. In this realm of wonders and terrors, they thrive, their existence entwined with the mesmerizing wonders and dangers of the unfathomable depths of the oceans. As we venture from the abyssal realms of the deep sea murlocs, our journey leads us to the lands of Borean Tundra. In the frost-bitten realms of Northrund, a unique tribe of murlocs known as the Winterfin tribe claims its sheltered domain. Surprisingly, this tribe shows a rare tolerance for outsiders who dare to venture into their territory. Even so, gaining their trust proves to be a challenging endeavor, as only those who prove their worth are welcomed into the particular fold of this mysterious tribe. Renowned within the Murloc community for their peculiar speech, the Winterfin tribe converse in a unique dialect of Nurglish, setting them apart from their relatives and making communication with other Murlocs nearly impossible. Famed for their culinary artistry, the Winterfin tribe skillfully crafts a special stew using orca blubber, a delicacy cherished in their culture. Intriguingly, the Winterfins highly value clams, making them the primary form of currency in their society, treasured above all other objects. At the heart of this tribe stands King Murgle Murgle, a night elven agent of the Druids for the Ethical and Humane Treatment of Animals organization, donning a clever disguise as a murloc. Driven by a deep-rooted interest in observing and preserving murloc populations, he assumes leadership of the displaced Winterfin tribe in the chilling lands of the Borean Tundra. 
The tribe's path is not without its trials, as an evil Makrura named Claximus prowls on adult murlocs by kidnapping their tadpoles. Many courageous murlocs who ventured into the depths of the Winterfin caverns to confront Claximus fell prey to the magical emanations from the nearby Koldara that Claximus exploits, leading to the enslavement of their minds. The corrupted tribe members of Winterfin village, under the influence of Claximus, carry out his bidding. They initiate a disturbing undertaking as they begin to ensnare the Winterfin tadpoles, vulnerable and innocent juvenile murlocs, bringing these defenseless creatures deep into the caverns. These captive tadpoles are discovered by brave adventurers, confined in cages within Winterfin village. Under the orders of King Murgle Murgle, adventurers are sent forth in disguise of defenseless murlocs, their mission to vanquish the wicked Makrura and bring an end to his sinister scheme. As a reward for the worthy adventurers who earn the favor of the murlocs, King Murgle Murgle grants a rare spell, allowing communication in the Winterfin tribe's distinct murloc dialect. Parting ways with the Winterfin tribe, our journey leads us to the untamed wilds of Sholazar Basin. Here, the mysterious Gorlocks dwell, a race of murloc-like creatures whose captivating lore unveils the origin of the murlocs. It is said that murlocs apparently evolved from Gorlocks, hinting at a profound connection between the two. In ancient times, amidst the Arctic lands of Borean Tundra, the Borean Gorlocks established their presence, exhibiting similar hostility and primitiveness as their Murloc descendants. There, they engage in age-old battles with the Tuscar, their struggles immortalized in the frozen expanse. Yet, it is in the untamed embrace of Sholazar Basin where the true enigma of the Gorlocks emerges. Among the Sholazar Gorlocks, known as the Oracles, an evolution of consciousness unfolds. In a divine encounter with the sacred Titan technology, they were gifted intelligence and awareness, ascending beyond the primitive nature of their brethren. Revering the rare albino tick bird as a harbinger of rainstorms and abundant harvests, they also hold the Titan technology and crystals in great esteem. These crystals wield tangible powers over the land's environment and weather, fueling their conviction to guard them against those who might misuse such potency. Adversaries like the Frenzy Heart tribe of Wulvar and the Relentless Scourge stand in their way, challenging their progress and survival. Though sworn enemies of the Wulvar, the Oracles share an almost identical social system. The warriors handle grunt work while their cultural leaders are revered for their shamanic abilities. Their culinary artistry is equally peculiar, concocting foods laced with noxious spices that would sicken any other creature. The leaders often carry the title Sue, a mark of honor and respect among their kin. In this saga of discovery and evolution, the Gorlocks, with their awakened culture, continue to carve their path in the ever-evolving continent of Northrund. Their legacy lives on, whispered by the winds of time and immortalized in the chronicles of Azeroth. In the depths of the Black Fathom Deeps, an intriguing alliance of Gorlocks and Murlocks, both ordinary and their deep-sea relatives, form the obscure Blindlight tribe. Originally not native to the underwater caves, their leader, Gelihast, boldly forced his way into the deeps, clashing with cultists of the Twilight's Hammer. Astonished by his sheer ferocity, the cult granted him refuge, leading him to build a shrine to venerate the ancient old gods, a path soon followed by his fellow Murlocs. Here, the Murlocs offered sacrifices and sought blessings from the foreboding presence that lingered. However, with the ominous arrival of new cultist leadership in the deeps of Black Fathom, the Twilight's Hammer dispatched their formidable enforcer, Subjugator Korul, to cleanse the caves of any who defy their control. Gelihast met his demise under Korul's crushing strength, which also enslaved the remaining cave-dwelling Murlocs. To assert his dominance, Korul left Gelihast's twisted corpse on grim display, using the Murlocs to hoard the possessions of those unfortunate souls who perished within the dark confines of the caves. Amidst the challenges faced by the Blindlight tribe, we now turn our attention to the enchanting realm of the Blood Elves, where the grim-scale tribe of Murlocs thrives along both the Golden Strand 
and tranquil shore of Eversong Woods. Guided by their chieftain, the formidable Murgle, this tribe plays a role in several adventures, immersing explorers in their intriguing world. Suspicion surrounds Murgle as a possible culprit in the cargo theft from Captain Kelisendra's ship. To confront him, intrepid souls must journey to the Golden Strand, where the chieftain traverses the Murloc camps, distinguished by his unique hues. As the ancient Gorlocks paved the way for the evolution of Murlocs, the story of the Jinyu unfolds in the less distant past, revealing a mesmerizing connection to the sacred and magical pools of the Vale of Eternal Blossoms in Pandaria. These once humble Murlocs underwent an immense metamorphosis, becoming fish-like humanoids blessed by the pool's mystical energies, transcending the boundaries of the mortal realm and ascending into one of the great ancient cultures of the land. In the ancient times before the Great Sundering reshaped the world, a mystical legend whispered that all rivers converged upon the majestic realm of Pandaria. Among the land's inhabitants, none were more attuned to this truth than the clever and perceptive Jinyu. As the ages unfolded, the wisest among the Jinyu embarked on a journey of enlightenment, learning to establish a sacred communion with the flowing waters of the rivers. Through their deep connection with the currents of the river, they listened intently, hearing not only the murmurs of the water, but also the echoes of the future and the tidings it would bring. As the bearer of such profound knowledge, these revered elders earned the utmost respect and admiration from various races, eventually receiving the esteemed title of water speakers. Within Jinyu society, a caste-based structure governs their roles and decisions. Chosen for specific roles at a young age, they grant final say to the elder Jinyu in their tribe. These revered elders possess the ability to converse with the flowing waters of Pandaria, endowing them with exceptional wisdom and power. As time flowed on, the great sundering shaped the land and its inhabitants. The Jinyu found themselves embroiled in a long-standing war with the Hosen, a monkey-like race, their historical enemies. A great betrayal from the Hosen led to a significant decline in the Jinyu's numbers and influence. Pearlfin Village remained the last bastion of their people, harboring deep distrust towards outsiders. In this enchanting realm of Pandaria, the Jinyu weave a tale of evolution, alliance and ancient traditions. Their journey stands as a testament to the intricate tapestry of life in these wondrous lands. As we have explored the variants and descendants of the Murloc lineage, we begin to close the book on the Murloc's tale, aware of their mysteries that still ripple beneath Azeroth's waters. Their unique language and magical abilities hint at hidden brilliance. From bustling inland river settlements to the depths of the Great Sea, the Murlocs thrive, always a cautionary path for adventurous souls. I could not have said it better myself. Farewell for now and may the tides guide your path.